what's going on everybody dying light 2 just got a big update that has a ton of stuff to talk about so let's just get right into it first there's a new halloween event that starts today october 30th and goes all the way through november 20th which is probably one of the longest events we've had in quite some time baka is back but instead of going around town fighting zombies and completing bounties this time you're actually going through a tower raid specific for halloween Three new hotel themed floors have been added and when going through the tower raid itself, each floor will have a random modifier to make each run different. Before starting the tower raid, you'll have to choose from one of four characters. There is the Scarecrow, the Plague, Van Aiden, and the Cursed Pirate. I'll be going more in depth on these in a later video. In this version of tower raid, you'll also have a preset loadout based on which character you choose and the first time you complete the raid with each character, you'll be rewarded with a special weapon. Now, going back to Baka for a bit, you'll have to use Halloween candies that you get from the raid to buy things in his shop. And if you had treats left over from last year, those will be converted into the new Halloween candies. However, only up to a thousand. The rest of them will be converted into mutation samples. There's also perks that you can choose for the tower raid as well. Session perks are chosen by the host of the session and are active for just a single run, while character perks will use perk points and permanently affect the runs for the entire event. Again, I will be going more into detail on those in a later video. Now that's basically everything related to the event, but there was also an update to the game. I won't be going over all the patch notes for version 1.19, but I'll give you the highlights and leave the full notes in the description for you to check out. A new control scheme was added for firearms that allows you to aim with the left trigger or L2 button like a traditional FPS, and when using melee weapons, that button will still be used for blocking just like normal. I think this was a really great addition. This is something that people have been asking for since guns were introduced, so I'm glad that Techland was able to add this feature. There were also some bug fixes with the tower raid, like fixing getting stuck on certain floors or from a tyrant. Uh, Co-op fixes were mostly tower raid fixes, but also getting stuck on the waiting for host screen. For gameplay fixes, volatile hives have been returned to the GRE quarantine lab, so they can be found there again. This is something that I've got several comments before on one of my earlier videos of people saying they're not spawning there anymore, so those should start spawning again. There's also some soft locking issues that were resolved and they improved the physics for the bash and crowd runner skills. For the technical fixes, the gritty filter has been updated, but the gritty dark filter actually stayed exactly the same. They also fixed some game freezing issues when opening the map. And for those that used the dev tools, some LOD and missing terrain bugs were fixed and some new slum prefabs were added as well. There was also a new Dying to Know episode. The first half talked about the Halloween event and the tower raid, while the second half focused on the future of Dying Light 2. There wasn't much information given other than the fact that there will be four major events a year and the rest of the time filled with things like alterations. Simone did say that they're looking for feedback on the alterations and what the community would like to see them develop into, so leave a comment below with your thoughts on the alterations and how you think they should be in the future. Three new bundles have been added to the game. The first is the Van Aiden bundle, which can only be obtained from Baka during the event. The Count Skull bundle, which can only be purchased with DL points during the event and then the cursed pirate bundle which looks like it's going to be a permanent part of the in-game store uh, there's also a brand new sword to claim for absolutely free in the in-game store called the gladius it's kind of a gladiator sword looks really cool not sure how long it's going to be free for though so claim it while you can lastly twitch drops are back from today until november 10th these include the blazing fury smg for watching a stream for 90 minutes and the blazing fury outfit for watching a stream for 120 minutes i'll be streaming on twitch during this time so make sure to follow me on twitch to see me live this was a big update to the game and i can't wait to jump into it and check everything out with all of you more videos are on the way so be sure to like and subscribe and follow my other channel and socials for all my content thanks for watching see you next time